Hello, this is the first in a series, hopefully a series, of weekly updates on Sage. It's about the end of April, last week of April. So my goal is as we get closer to the Kickstarter launch in June, that I will make these updates to give everybody a kind of uh, behind the scenes look at what I'm working on uh, and cranking out on getting Sage ready for the Kickstarter. So I'll jump into it. Um, login is kind of working, but I've only created a single test account right now. I'll be loading multiple accounts manually in the next week or so. Um, I was having a bit of problems with some of the login redirection. So you can do forgot password, but some of the some of the things like remember me are not uh, quite working right now. So, let me log in. Okay, so the first page you come to is the profile page. Right now, it's just a kind of a static page. These buttons are the reset password works, but the update subscription I haven't hooked in the the subscription or the um, fulfillment portion of that. I think that'll happen after I finish getting the design part hooked in since it's kind of less important until we have actually starting to onboard people from the Kickstarter. Um, the design. So this is the big thing that I've been working on is that I've started to get the, the, the actual designer that was on the WordPress site. I've got that kind of the base part of it lo loading in Sage now, which was a big lift because it was a different JavaScript framework. The designer uses something called Canvas, which is not part of React and doesn't integrate uh, natively. So now that I've got this into the Sage app, the next step is um, I've moved over all the zip code data and all the uh, persistence data, but I haven't got the hooks yet from the actual designer into uh, the database, into Amazon's DynamoDB database. So that's the next step is to get those hooks in. Um, and as part of that, this design wizard steps you through a kind of hand-holding instead of it being wide open for the designer, it, it starts from laying out your raised beds and then you're choosing your plant. So the, you start off with a shopping list where you're putting in all your foods. And then the next step, I'm going to add another step in here where it will, from that shopping list, it's going to generate your plant list. So how many plants you need to, to plant uh, to get the kind of, to, the, to replace your shopping list, to grow the food that you've put in your shopping list. Then the next step after that would be placing your plants. So both this layout your garden space and placing your plants are going to have a ver an actual, uh, I'll put the designer down here and then, but it'll be constrained so you're only, it's already created a design and you're only in the step where you're drawing out the raised beds and labeling them. So you, the, that will be useful in, when you get to the garden goals part of it. Also with the placing your plants that will then take your plant list and make a recommendation about where to put the plants in your raised bed. So it's going to automatically, do that whole um, choosing your plants module thing where it's placing the plants according to the plant families in each raised bed. Finally, this will hook into the planting calendar. So um, once you've laid out your plants, then based off your zip code, it'll generate all the planting dates and set up notifications. So th that's what I'm working on next. As soon as I get the hooks for the designer in to the database, then the design wizard is the next thing. At that point, it's mostly just cleaning up the other pieces. So where I am with the other pieces. So the, the journal, the, the journal is functional, but it's a little bit 
uh, ugly. Also, um, there's no way to upload images. So if I can get an image. Oh, I don't have any images. Ah. Yeah, so that's obviously needs some work. So this is functional, but it needs quite a lot of work to get it working um, cleanly. And I'd also like to get some more feedback from GIY users about how it should work in terms of right now, it, it'll just continuously go down as you add more and more things. It'll do a staggered Pinterest kind of thing. So I don't have... I have to get pagination working with that, but I, I probably want some kind of search. So this one is the, I, I'm the most open. Uh, I really need some kind of input or feedback from every, from the GIY users about how it should work and how it should tie in with the other pieces. The planting calendar, so this part is pretty much done now. I've got color coding based off the activity. So you can see this is a harvest, so it's yellow. Transplanting is blue. Um, and then you can edit it. Just clicking on the events, you can edit it. So the, the idea is that when you go through that design wizard, it, it'll populate these things for your planting dates based off your design. And then you can, I'm also gonna, I haven't added it here, but I'd like to add some kind of notification so you can also edit whether you want to get notified on some of this stuff. Um, finally, I got this garden goal thing working. So I, I still need to add a little table here with the actual values, but this is a nice little chart thing where you can see the breakdown of how you did if you've been tracking your harvest. So I think I'm going to put a little harvest log tracker in the journal, but you can, you can break this down various ways by plant species, plant family, and by plot. So the idea is that I would hook this into your design. And as long as you're entering in your harvest, then you'll be able to see a breakdown of, okay, this raised bed is not producing, or this, this, uh, I, I harvested a lot of melons, but I didn't harvest any legumes, that kind of breakdown. And I, I'm also, you can, you can do a little download of this and I'm going to put a table here, a sortable data table, where you can also see the actual values and get an idea of the actual totals, maybe even download like a CSV or something like that. So that's where I am now in the next week. I'm, I think I can get the, the database hook in and a good chunk of the design wizard stuff. Um, I think that the, that's the big technical lift is once I get the design wizard working, then cleaning up all those other parts of it won't take more than about a, two weeks. So, um, yep, uh, I've already been chatting a lot. Don't want to go on too long. Just thought I'd update you guys and um, it's kind of exciting. It's getting to the exciting part, especially once the wizard starts working. If you have any questions, just post them on ClickUp and hope everybody's doing well.